simpler traditional feather wings called the sweep. Nowadays it's used quite often as a hair wing fly, but this is the, the original dressing. Just like your whip finish. It's just like a whip finish. You're winding this part and trapping the other part against the hook. And maybe four turns, keeping it tight. Then you've got to pull it along till it's tight. Now the second part of the tag is yellow floss silk. one turn down on top of the oval silver and then back. golden pheasant crest feather for the tail. Do you prepare these in any method? Do you prepare these before you start, Jim? Or do you just tie them in straight? Sometimes they've got the original curve, but other times if they're straight, you can, you can dampen them and uh, put them into a shape. Next part of the tail is a small piece of blue, dyed blue goose feather, or any any small blue feather. It's a uh, black ostrich herald, dyed black ostrich. Or you could use wool. turns to hold it. The rib is a uh, oval silver tinsel. maybe six, seven, eight turns. Any any large black feather. You could use I think the original was crow feather, as the wing was originally, you know, natural black crow feather. This is just a dyed black cocked hackle. We turn it down, we're doubling it. Goes on easier. This is a certain Often a common fault that the fly dressers, when they come to wind the hackle on, that they leave no room for the wing. I mean, you can see it's quite a thick stem in this hackle, and it's going to take up, it's going to fill this quite, fill, fill half of that space. Jim, 
Oh yeah, pull me a quarter inch because I said it's a big hook. Plenty are going to the tail. Just almost that. to the tip of the tail, yeah. Some fly dishes, they've got preference, some some have short wings, some like them longer. That's right, they either, it, it either works or it doesn't work. Not too bad. But you can twist it over, have a look, see what's going on. I mean, if it's reasonable, you leave well alone. <laughs> 